Hello viewers, in today's video I found another uh, air conditioning fan motor same like the one we used before the design is the same but the watts are different because this one is uh, 36 watts as you can see right there 36 watts 0 0.31 mm -hmm. amps but as I always say that these watts here that's a power consumption when it's working as a fan okay but once we convert this into a generator the watts changes I'm not going to be 36 watts anymore we can multiply it times three or maybe times uh, four it depends with uh, what kind of magnets you're using inside all right so now let's start doing this i made it easy to open so here is the original rotor the one which was used from the factory so instead of cutting this i'm going to make it easy find another thing like this but from a small motor which is like this one so that because when you push this inside you can see there's no space that you can use to put your magnets so if we take this out and bring this here you'll see that now we have a space there then we're going to use that space to put our magnets so this is the type of magnet we're going to be using here these are the magnets not the small ones no the strong of course your demium magnets but let's put them aside we're going to use these large ones okay so we need six six poles all right oh my god six poles so when we say six poles that means we need six magnets one have to be south or north it depends how you start it south north south north south north okay six poles so quick just to give you the measurement of the magnets here is 25 millimeters 10 millimeters and the thickness is 3 millimeters okay so it's 25 by 10 by 3 mm right so i'm gonna pause this video to arrange this magnet all right so as i said six poles so here six poles is in is in south north south north all right so this you can keep it somewhere safe in case you want to put it back as a motor a fan motor but right now let's use this okay there we go keep going you can do it come on go 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 mm -hmm. there we go all right now we can put back the cover Now, brothers and sisters, the generator is ready. Let's see. Here's 250 volts AC. Let's put this here. So now we have to check which wires are giving us the proper voltage. So, black. 
uh, center because here this is the starting wire this and this one the very thinnest wire that's a start for starting and this one red in the same point where all the wires meet black wire that's uh, for uh, what i can say for full speed now okay so one side is connected in series so let me just do this so you can understand from here to here and here with black the watts are going to be, i mean the voltage are going to be different so you can see here it's a uh, what let's take it as 30 but when we connect red and blue the voltage is supposed to be more higher because it's like now in series see that making about 44 50 volts 51 okay it depends how you spin it so in this generator so that means we're going to use the red and blue okay so now the question is we have changed it into a generator of course but is this uh, voltage coming out from here is it useful well one way to find out before i go far mm, where's my bulb now all right i was looking for this light bulb okay so now this is nine watts let's check before we start connecting something else and fail someone's gonna laugh okay let's see oh see that no other wires from somewhere else no see that there's nothing that's our rope we're going to use it oh see that all right if we are producing uh, 50 volts with just hand rotation if we use this rope to spin for sure the voltage is going to be more than 250 volts okay so i don't want to risk the multimeter but here is what we need to try now okay so as i said this was nine watts let's put it aside so if you remember my statement before i said this the time on the moment it was working as just a fan it was they marked it as a 35 watts as a power consumption but now because we turn it into a generator the watts goes higher more than they say right there so let's see this is 55 watts all right 55 watts machine so let's see if we can be able to power it there here okay let's make sure it's on right there okay no short circuit all right let's see if what i am saying is true hey you wanna bend me stay that side Alright, so now I'm ready to pull the rope.
let's see if we can power this up this is a mouse sander so when it's on it moves so let's see ready see that I'm gonna do it again okay one more time here yep. nothing else this rope all right i pause the video to roll up this rope ready see that okay so all right now we have this 100 watts light bulb but don't worry this is my lamp holder i don't have lamp holder so i have to do this <laughs> As my lamp holder anyway let's see as I said 36 watts 36 watts we can be able to power this 100 watts anyway one way to find out let's do this blue is negative or neutral and here is our live wire so Let's do this. Let's see if we can be able to power 100 watts. Okay. Well, I hope that's, it. that's enough for demonstration. See there, it's our connection. There we go. See that? And this side is a rope, not wire from somewhere. No. Okay, I'm doing that because I know there's so many trust issues out there. Okay. I'm gonna do the rope. You check the light bulb. Okay, ready? <laughs> you see that yeah i know you saw it okay i'm gonna pause the video to roll this okay no not pa pausing as i said so many trust issues out there okay come on come on come on come on come on let's do this Okay. Da, 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 da. Yeah, that's enough. Right. Three, two, one. Yes, I believe you've seen that. Okay, so yes, like I said, 36 watts when it's working as a, a fan, a fan motor or just a motor. Yeah, the power consumption is 36 but once you convert it into a generator trust me it depends of course with the magnets you use but what's more important about this i know there's some other people out there you have some possibilities that you can do this thing just like i did here anything else just follow the instruction and uh, you can use this for this power what you call this the wind turbine this is nice project if you can be able okay if you can manage to do those wings i don't know whatever you call it the blades connect it here anyway or anyhow you can connect it put it on the roof because this i would like to call it low speed generator because with just low spin like this you're producing so much voltage imagine just to use this rope we are able to power this 100 watt light bulb just like i did imagine if you use some serious stuff how much voltage you can produce from this 
so don't be scared try to do this project you will thank me later this we know is 30 watts but because it has so many lumens there whatever we call it the diodes so let's see if we can be able to power it even though i know that we can be able to power it if we powered the 100 watts what about this 30 watts hmm, that's enough see there just a little bit look at this this is a very nice project please look for this motor do this project before you start saying so many things see how many turns i put here for a rope only a few okay not so much power just ready what happened did i bend my hey hey that bulb is new okay all right we're gonna do it again maybe i didn't pull it properly let's do it again so maybe you want to know where you can get those magnets easy if you cannot order online those new demon magnets you can find them in a hoverboard well, there we go the problem was me <clears throat> i didn't pull it with uh, some power but anyway scared let's put it aside okay yeah so i was saying that you can find all this type of magnets from the hoverboard wheel you know just buy a old hoverboard the one which was dead the batteries were dead even anything else you're going to find these magnets very strong magnets it depends how big is the hoverboard these ones they're from you know those hoverboard for kids yes you're going to find these small magnets the adult you're going to find this one and there's a off-road hoverboard those ones you will find even bigger magnets all right so thanks for watching please don't forget to subscribe let's reach 1000 subscribers and depending on you guys i have a lot to share please don't forget to like thank you very much